hello as you can see it is me from the future i have got new hair this is post wedding and i wanted to hop in and talk through the last couple of days of wedding week because when <laughs> wedding week was happening especially the final few days it just got so busy and there were so many people and family around helping us and honestly we just were going from one thing to the next and I kind of run out of time to actually sit down and talk about what it was that we were doing and um, how I was feeling and what was going on I just didn't have those moments to stop and talk to you guys so I wanted to pop in now after the event and just talk through those days what was happening and I filmed some clips during the time that I kind of wanted to also share a little recap of what was going on. So I'm going to do that now. Um, first off on Thursday, I took you out to the flower farm. So we went to the flower farm to pick our own flowers for the wedding. So the plan for this was we were going to pick all of our... Um, flowers for the tables so we had these little bud vases that we were cleaning earlier in the week and then we were going to just have little sprigs of flowers in the bud vases and have those all over the tables um, just a very eclectic little whimsical mix um, nothing crazy and then the lady who is a friend of my mum's who is a florist she's make she was making my bouquet and so she was going to take some of those flowers we picked and also put them into my bouquet so that that matched and then she was also making some little uh, buttonhole boutonniere things for Dom and for our dads and then also for our mums and my granny so she was going to mix in some of those flowers into those and then we were also going to hang some flowers from the tree where we were having the ceremony so those were all the flowers and we were hoping we were going to get a mixture and sort of use them for those different spots the flower farm was just such a beautiful experience. I'm so glad we did that. It was so lovely to come together, various members of the family who could make it and go out there. It was just so peaceful and serene, such a beautiful setting out on a farm and um, we could just wander through all the fields and have our buckets of water and just sit there and or stand there and you know pick all the flowers and um, that was just such a beautiful thing, such a calming activity to get to do and really just something so fun and enjoyable for everyone and I think everyone who got to do that really had a great time um, and it was fun to just have a different mixture of flowers um, because the grower had things that we would not have thought of or we don't have in our garden so um, it was really great to have the different options and it was beautiful so I'll link the flower farm we went to down below it was such a lovely space and I know she does a lot of wedding flowers um, for DIY brides and then she also does different events and things too where you can go and pick your own flowers at any time um, actually she has like seasons where it's available um, but then she also does different like things for hens parties or groups like that different group activities you can make bouquets and stuff like that so it's just such a lovely experience I'll definitely be keen to do that again sometime and I think it was so perfect for a wedding like that um, definitely a more cost-effective way of having flowers and then so once we had gone to the flower farm we came home and pretty much it was go time for us we were um there were a couple of things we still needed so Dom went into town and he grabbed stuff we were trying to have some lunch in between and then that evening or afternoon we were having our um wedding ceremony actually so the plan originally was that Dom's brother was going to be our celebrant and he had gone through the whole process and it's quite a involved thing to become a celebrant it's quite at least in New Zealand, it's it's quite a process. There's a lot of steps you've got to take with verifying your identity and getting references to say that you're a great person and you're going to do a good job. It, yeah, so it's quite a thing. And unfortunately, during that process, it 
the whole system and stuff got overwhelmed with applicants and it just took longer than anticipated and so he wasn't able to actually complete that process in time for our wedding but we still really wanted him to be the celebrant on the day so we still wanted to get legally married as well so it meant that we needed to have a separate legal ceremony so we did our legal ceremony on the Thursday so that was at 4 p.m. which meant by the time we got back from the flower farm and gathered our things together we were we we're on a bit of a time crunch we did end up taking the dogs out for a walk as well which was beautiful and such a nice thing to do because it's just part of our normal routine and I think it's so nice to have those little moments of normalcy in such a crazy busy stressful time so I enjoyed that um, but then yeah we basically came back and had to get ready so I had to iron my dress as well as Dom's shirt and that took a lot longer than I was anticipating um, yeah everything everything always takes a lot longer than you realize so anyway I was ironing everything I had two different dresses that I was ironing because the white dress was actually my reception dress so I didn't want to accidentally spill anything on that so I had a second dress that I was going to change into And then basically, the second I was done ironing um, and doing my makeup and all of that, we were in the car and get, heading up there and we were actually running really late. Everyone else had already got up there before we did and it was a little bit hectic so I didn't really get a lot of clips which I really regret. Um, honestly, it's something I regret from that whole wedding weekend is just that. It was hard to get clips with being so busy and also being anxious. I just found that difficult to actually film so I feel like I'm going to a toga party <laughs> like the way that I'm dressed that's really funny the way it's like tied up at the shoulders click I'm getting married I'm so in like 20 minutes 20 minutes Bruno looks quite stressed the best dog <laughs> But basically, we got up to the place where we were going to be um, having our ceremony and it was beautiful. It was a perfect day for it. The most stunning afternoon. The weather was amazing. We just had our immediate family um, up there with us and the celebrant that we had found online. And yeah, it was over so quickly. I mean, even if we had filmed it, it would be, you know, over in five minutes. It was crazy. It was really fast. I was expecting us to have to say our, the traditional vows that you hear all the time, you know, the to have and to hold, richer, poorer, sickness, health, all of that. I thought we were going to say all of that, but no, actually all you have to say is your names and your partner's names and basically sign the registry and that's it. And the celebrant's finished and you're married so it was really quick um but I was so nervous standing up there is something something I guess it is a big step and it is in front of all of your loved ones and so it makes sense but it was quite nerve-wracking but I think it's good because it took away some of the nerves from the actual wedding because we'd already done that legal part and that was taken care of so that was really fun and what's really fun about it and special about it is that originally when we were talking about planning our wedding that is what I wanted to do. I just wanted to have this really intimate small ceremony with just our families um, in a beautiful spot and I just wanted it to be like that and kind of along the way it changed and different people had opinions about that idea and it ended up being different but I'm so glad that we got to also do this other like kind of special intimate small ceremony and have that little moment as well so that was really cool actually and it, I, it really worked out for the best um, and then after the ceremony we 
stuck around there for a little bit and then we went to my dad's house and we all had dinner together so we had drinks and nibbles and a barbecue and just spent some time together and that was so nice it was so lovely to just have that moment before the busyness of all of the wedding prep and the actual wedding day just to like come together and spend time together and just laugh and chat and all of that so I loved that as well that was a really special moment from the week and then on Friday Friday was our big prep day that was the day we had blocked out um, most of our family had taken time off work if they could and so they were all going to be helping us which was amazing so so good to have their help and we really needed it and we needed all the time that we could get early in the morning we went up to the venue and we cleared out everything because our venue is actually an airbnb usually so it has all of the regular setup um like the couches and rugs and dining table and chairs and all of that stuff and just general um stuff that would be there for a airbnb but i didn't really want there for our wedding it was just kind of adding some clutter so you know um like dvds and books on the bookshelves and um various kind of like fake plants and things i just wanted to clear the space and have it pretty much empty and then the hire company that we got our tables and chairs from delivered all of those to the venue and so then we had to um set all of those up rest of the decor set up so we kept it really really simple um, I really didn't want to use a lot of stuff because I just felt like the venue itself was so beautiful and it was just gonna be extra work if we did anything and honestly we just kind of got a bit sick of the whole planning process and I just couldn't be bothered so we basically had our tables was the main decor and so we had to iron all of the tablecloths um iron some of those napkins the linen napkins that we got because some of them got a bit creased and then we had to fold all of the napkins and put all of the place cards in and set out the plates and the cutlery and the candlesticks and unfortunately the candles were a little bit too big for the holders so we had to get blue tack and then like stick them in everything just took so much longer there's all these little details that take time 
like um, also prepping all of the bud vases that took quite a long time because you've got to sift through the flowers we picked and trim them and mix the different flowers in and add them to the different vases and um, yeah we had some of the guys stringing up some of the like festoon lights along the beams inside and also over the dance floor um, our mums did all of the food so they spent the whole day prepping food which was unbelievable they did an incredible job so they were doing all of that they did this massive grazing platter situation like an entire table of just like snacky nibbly things as well as like fruit punch and sangria um, so they were very busy making all of that and my granny made our wedding cake and our um, so we had a main wedding cake which was a carrot cake and then she had also made individual little um, cupcakes for each person so that we could kind of keep our wedding cake um, and enjoy that and then everyone could just have a little individual um, cupcake so she spent all day icing all of those cupcakes icing our wedding cake and then she had dried flowers especially for us and she stuck all the dried flowers on the wedding cake and it was just so stunning and then um, so she was doing that all day and yeah we were setting up all of the glassware as well and we brought up different um, potted flowers to stick around the area um, outside and then the final thing we did was sticking those jars in the trees so I didn't do this <laughs> some of my handy helpers did this for us they tied wire in the end around those um, jam jars and we ended up just using a few of them I thought we were going to use loads more that was sort of what I had in my head but I'm, I think it really did just turn out perfectly um, so we just had them in this sort of arch formation kind of like hanging from the branches where we had our ceremony and it was just such a nice little simple touch but so stunning and so ugh, it was just beautiful and so that was pretty much all of the go on Friday we um, were still last minute <laughs> writing those letters to our guests so we ended up leaving the venue well after seven at night yeah we were writing all those letters and sorting out last minute bits and then yeah we just um went to mum's house and had some pizza with everyone and went back home for an early night and then it was then it was the wedding day and that's yeah that's basically the recap of a wedding week thank you so much for watching these videos I hope that you have enjoyed the vlogs and getting to see what wedding week looked like especially if you are getting married yourself soon next video that I'm going to share is from our mini moon our little mini honeymoon that we took to Bowen Town and I'm so excited about that one it was such a good trip so much fun um, and such a beautiful spot so definitely stay tuned for that and I will see you in that video very very soon bye